Once upon a time, there were seven classic family videos. Turner Home Entertainment proudly presents the Timeless Tales series from Hallmark. What have you got? Oh, what have you got? It's the Emperor's New Clothes, featuring the voice of Dom DeLuise. The Elves and the Shoemaker. These are the fanciest shoes I've ever had. With the voices of Ed Begley Jr. and Joe Beth Williams. What do you suppose is going on in the workshop? And this classic tale. This is one cool kitty. Puss in Boots. And look for these other popular stories. The Ugly Duckling. <gasps> Rapunzel. Rumpelstiltskin. And Thumbelina. <laughs> for the child in all of us, timeless tales. Available now wherever videos are sold. Incredible! These fairy tale favorites are brought to you by Hallmark, a name that's meant quality for over 80 years. Kids love the animation. And these are stories everyone in the family will want to watch again and again. Do it all over again and don't skip anything. But that's not all. What else have you got? While supplies last, get a free sheet of fun, colorful character stickers inside every video. For a happy ending every time, Ta -da! get Timeless Tales, wholesome family fun that will remain timeless throughout the years. That's the funniest thing I've seen since the Middle Ages. From two names you can trust, Hallmark and Turner Home Entertainment. This is a bear with average intelligence. And this is smarter than the average bear. Hanna-Barbera presents Yogi Bear. Starring in Yogi the Easter Bear, a film advisory board award winner now available for the first time on video. It's a brand new 55 minute Easter adventure priced at just $12.98. It's smarter than the average kid's video and destined to become a holiday favorite the whole family will enjoy year after year. Lots of fun, lots of laughs, and lots of outrageous hijinks. Those were the ugliest birds I've ever seen. Watch as Yogi and Boo Boo try to save Easter. I think the Easter Bunny's in some kind of trouble, Yogi. Join the fun with Yogi, Yikes. Boo Boo, the Ranger, and some all-new friends in a never-before-on-video adventure the entire family will love. This video also includes Yaki Doodle in a Hanna-Barbera bonus tune. Look for Yogi now wherever videos are sold. Yogi the Easter Bear, a Film Advisory Board Award winner. Hop on over and get yours today. I'm also smarter than the average Easter Bunny. Before Arnold, Sly, and Mel, there was Samson, David, and Jonah. Turner Home Entertainment presents the first action hero. The greatest adventure stories from the Bible. Available now wherever videos are sold. Action-packed animated adventures your kids will love to watch. Classic tales you'll want to share with them. Hours of quality family entertainment. Winners of the Film Advisory Board's Award of Excellence. Featuring the best-loved classic stories of the Bible. Samson and Delilah, David and Goliath, Jonah and the Whale. Plus these other exciting Bible tales. Each video features the voices of today's hottest stars. Mad About You's Helen Hunt. You and I and the baby have a long trip ahead of us. Ed Asner. Today, Jericho shall be ours. James Earl Jones. All right, go. All of you, go. Go and worship this god of yours as you please. Collect them all. They make the perfect gift for your family. The greatest adventure stories from the Bible. Winners of the Film Advisory Board's Award of Excellence. Now available wherever videos are sold. Exclusively from Turner Home Entertainment. Coming soon to home video from Turner Home Entertainment.
Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying them down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a frog. <laughs> Get myself talked into these things. A frog who thinks he's a prince. Voila! They call me Johannes. Trying to save a swan. Samba! To the rescue, mademoiselle! A swan who's really a princess. Princess of death. And that's just for starters. <laughs> the Swan Princess. Featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure, go on, John Bob. Race to your death. Sandy Duncan. No, it can't be. Jack Palance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Odette. Derek. A magical musical animated adventure. Swan Princess. Coming soon. My magic attic. Anything can happen up here. Just wait. Here, uh oh, here. here come Kevin and Emily. Last time. Why did Granddad build them so soon? Granddad had his own way of doing things. He sure did. Are you coming or not? Yeah, I'm coming. But my shoelace is loose. You're just stalling. I am not. I find it very, uh, Interesting up here. Interesting, huh? Wait, you see this? This is interesting. Wow! It must be a brontosaurus egg. Nah, brontosaurus eggs are even bigger. There are about. Look! Amazing! Right on schedule. Ugly duckling. Go ahead and read it. It's your turn. A very long time ago, in a beautiful meadow, a mother duck sat waiting for her ducklings to hatch. swim and fly and dive. <gasps> oh, dear. You still have a brother or sister who hasn't come out. So, when do we get to learn to swim? As soon as he's hatched, we'll all go. What are we supposed to do until then? You're supposed to be patient and wait. But we want to play! Yeah! How fun hanging around here! What is all this talking about? I'm sorry, Widow Duck. It's just my children. Are they all born? Almost. But, my dear, that doesn't look like one of ours. It most certainly is. If I didn't say it wasn't, I'm just not sure. Perhaps you should leave it be. You already have five fine ducklings. Calm down, dear. I didn't mean anything. What 
do you mean calm down? How can you even suggest such a thing? They're all my babies. These are my babies you're talking about. <gasps> Mom! And another thing. Mother! Mother! Oh, what is it, dears? Oh, oh my. <gasps> what is it? Hi. What is it? Why, it's my baby. Mother? Oh, but that's not... Uh, that can't be... He most certainly is. Oh. These are all my children. Whatever you say, my dear. Perhaps you just need a day to settle in. Tomorrow you'll be soft and yellow, just like your brothers and sisters. Right. Today's your first swimming lesson. Mother? Mother? Mother, wait for me. We must go back for your brother. I'm coming. Come on, follow me. Hey, no cutting in line. That's my place. I'm always behind him. Excuse me, I didn't realize. And I'm behind her. You don't think you can have my place in line, do you? Oh, of course not, buddy. Excuse me. Where do you think you're swimming? Is this your place? I, I, I had no idea. I mean, I didn't mean to. Lovely morning, Mrs. Mallard. Yes, it is but not nearly as lovely as your fine children. Yes, I dare say they are the loveliest children in the stream. All except that ugly one. All my children are beautiful to me. Come, children. What a strange color, and so big. Well, he can't possibly be one of us. Such a homely little creature. Oh, sh 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 she's coming. Good morning, Mrs. Mallard. Yes, it is. Thank you. Oh, oh, I didn't realize how truly ugly he was. Boy, there are only two words to describe you. Really? What? Ugly! <laughs> You're not one of us. It's plain to see when it comes to ducks, you're just ugly. Why don't you just swim away? <laughs> hey, the Eider kids are picking on ugly. Let's join them. <laughs> you're not one of us. Don't you know? You don't fit in from your head to your toe. Why don't you just swim away? You know your neck's too long. Neck's too long. And your head's too fat. Your head's too fat. Why don't you cover it up? Cover it up with a big brown sack. <laughs> I think we've had enough for our first day. Come, children, let's go home. Children, children. You're not one of us. It's plain to see when it comes to ducks, you're just ugly. Why don't you just swim away? Why don't you just fly today? Why don't you just go away?
Shoo! Go on. Go home. <laughs> and as for you, I'm ashamed of you. How can you say those things to your own brother? Oh, Mom, it was just a game. Yeah, and you know we really love him. That's enough. Back to the nest. Now. Oh, Mom, me, young lady. It's all right. They didn't mean anything. I love you. I love you too, Mother. Let's go home, okay? That old twerp. Wow, what mean brothers and sisters. Yeah, bummer. As the months passed and the winter approached, the ducks grew including the ugly duckling. Children? Children? Children! <clears throat> Today is a very important day. Winter will be upon us soon, and you must all make plans to fly south before it gets too cold. My heart is filled with hope for all of your futures. And I expect to see all of you back in the meadow come spring. Shall we all stick together? Yeah, but just us, not him. How are we gonna do that? Yeah, he's faster than any of us. It's easy. We'll all go in separate directions, and he won't know who to follow. Right, and we'll meet up later. Are you all flying south? Probably. Are you all going together? Maybe? But, uh, probably not. Well, do you mind if I fly along? Uh, suit yourself. I think it'll be fun. All of us flying south together, it'll be a real adventure, huh? Don't you think so? Hey! Where'd everybody go? Hello? Are you going south? Yep. Well, can I go along? You? Go with us? <laughs> you gotta be kidding! <laughs> Going south? Go Going my way? Get lost. I try to be friendly. I try to be kind. But nobody likes me. No one I can find. Birds of a feather flock together. At least that's how the saying goes. Well, I'm on my own. On my own. With no one beside me, no one to guide me. On my own and all alone. I try to be strong and hold my head high, though at times it just gets me down. I look around me, there's no one beside me. I'd rather be at home. Well, I'm on my own, all alone. With no one beside me, no one to guide me on my own and all alone. With no one beside me, no one to guide me on my own and all alone.
It's no use. They're far too beautiful to ever notice the likes of me. <gasps> I am ugly. I'd better get busy. This could be my last day to get food before the real snow starts to fall. No! What are you doing here? Just resting. But I'll understand if you want me to move along. You can stay here all winter if you like. Really? Hey, no problem for me. I just wonder why you haven't flown south. It's a long story. Oh, well, it's too late to fly south now, so you'd better wait out the winter in my house with me. Are you sure you mean me? Do you see anybody else around? No. Then it must be you, pal. Come on! Are you sure? Listen, if you don't hurry, I'll be a snow bunny and you'll be an ice sculpture. Come on! Oh, by the by, my name's Runabout. What's yours? They call me ugly. Well, don't worry about it. You'll grow out of it. <laughs> In you go. Oh, this is beautiful. Eh, it's all right. A lot of us rabbits have our own homes, but we still all eat together. You know, the cook makes a great carrot soup. You do eat carrot soup, don't you? No, oh, I'll eat anything. I'm famished. That's the dinner bell. Well, better to be warm and cozy than cold with lots of wing room. Come on! You don't have to tell me twice. Follow me. The dining room's just ahead. Oh, here, you take my chair. I'll go get another. Whoa, runabout! Latest... Ah! Hi, how's the carrot soup today? W who's that? Just my friend. And what's he doing here? Eating. He's with me. And is he a rabbit? Uh, no. Do you see any other non-rabbits at this table? Um, no. But it's winter and he was cold and I just thought... Don't think! Just escort your friend to the door. Now, wait a second. I have a vote here, too, and I vote he stays. So, you want a vote, do you? I'm sorry. I feel ashamed for my fellow rabbits, but it was a fair vote. <laughs> 714 to 1? Who would have thought it? Well, I want to thank you for voting for me. You're a real friend. <sighs> I just hate to think of you out here in the cold. Why don't you stay with me in my log? I could sneak food up to you and... We... Well, then you'd get in trouble and we'll both get thrown out. Then I'll go with you. So we'll both free. What good will that do? Nothing. I suppose you're right. Well, I guess I should be going. So long and... Well, thanks for being my friend. I'll always be your friend. Just wait. We'll see each other again. I try to be friendly. I try to be kind. But nobody likes me. No one I can find. Birds of a feather flock together at least that's how the saying goes well i'm on my own all alone with no one beside me no one 
to guide me on my own and all alone With no one beside me, no one to guide me on my own and all alone For the first time, I really felt like I belonged. Hear that? He wants to belong. Well, he can belong. To us. <laughs> yeah, I got a place where he can belong. Right in my stomach. <laughs> well, hey, little fella. We understand you have no place to belong. No. Well, we understand exactly how you feel. No one wants us around either. Yeah, but we know a place where you'll fit in real comfy like. Really? Where? Who's going? Now you just relax and follow us. We'll show you. As the ugly duckling went deeper into the spooky swamp, he became fearful. But the smooth-talking alligators managed to put him at ease. Relax, kid. It's not much farther. Yeah, and there'll be lots of friends just waiting for you. Well, just speaking for myself, I just know they're gonna love you. <gasps> My friend, I'd better help him. You are one of us. Uh, don't you know we love all of you from your head to your toe? Why don't you uh, come inside with us? You know your legs are long, your legs are long, and your wings are wide. Your wings are wide. You know your thighs are plump, your thighs are plump. We like a duck deep fried. You are one of us, it's plain to see When it comes to ducks, you're a delicacy um, But why don't you leave the cooking to us? <laughs> now listen up here, man We're gonna have a feast Have a feast We got our menu planned He's sitting in our hands And our bill of fare We are tucking duck all around Sitting right here in the van. I'm getting hungry, man. Ah, you are one of us. You fit the bill. When our tummies growl, we will have our fill. So why don't you leave the cooking to us? Now don't worry, cause it ain't no fuss. Sit back and leave the dining to us. Oh, you don't even need a reservation. Dinner is served. You lied! You don't want to be my friend! <laughs> hey! Sorry, ugly! Come back! Now what do we do for dinner? You saved my life from about thank you. You're a true friend! He's a good guy. Even if he is a little ugly. Look at those swans. They're so beautiful. And I'm so ugly. What do they do when they see me? They'll probably scream or fly away or chase me. I'd better hide. Maybe if I hide my head underwater. Huh. It can't be. But, but it must be. Well, there's no one else it could be. It's me. Swan! Of course you're a swan. In fact, we've been sent to ask if you'd like to be the leader of our flock. Yes, you have the longest, most graceful neck anyone on this pond has ever seen. Me? 
You want me? Yes, indeed. Come. And the ugly duckling, no longer ugly or a duckling, but a beautiful swan, swam off and lived happily ever after. He's so beautiful. Yep, what a handsome duck. Are you trying to be silly, Kevin? Nope, just trying to be my own special self. Just like the ugly duckling. Oh, great. I really admire that in the little brother, Kevin. <laughs>